In this chapter, we'll look at the basics of MIDI recording. So far, we've recorded a piano part and a vocal. Now it's time to add drums and pads using MIDI and VST instruments. Let's begin with a basic review of MIDI and how it works. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It's a computer language that allows musical instruments to talk to each other. MIDI was originally developed in the early 80s and is still in use nearly 30 years later. Now that's remarkable longevity in the world of computers, and it's a testimony to how well MIDI works. Now recording MIDI is fundamentally different from recording audio. For one thing, no sound is recorded, only instructions. When you press the key of a piano, actual sound is generated. By comparison, when you press the key on a MIDI keyboard, all that comes out is a note on command. And when you release the key, the keyboard transmits a note off command. You need two components to make music with MIDI. You need a controller or an input device to generate those commands, and you need a sound module or tone generator to generate the actual sounds. Cubase comes with a powerful sound module called Halion Sonic SE. You can use any MIDI controller to trigger the sounds in Halion Sonic SE. A MIDI file has a lot in common with an old player piano scroll. So much so that even today most MIDI editors refer to their interface as a piano roll. Steinberg has created a feature called an instrument track, which is a MIDI track and a VST instrument bundled together. To create an instrument track, open the project menu and select Add Track. Then Instrument Track. When the dialog box opens, set the count to 1 so that we only create a single instrument track. Let's select Halion Sonic SE as our first instrument. Cubase will create a new track with a new track icon and slightly different track controls. Click on the Edit Instrument icon to open the Halion Sonic SE interface. Now we could spend hours just on this remarkable instrument, but to keep things moving along, let's simply load it up with sounds and keep going. To do this, click in the preset window. Then select the preset that you want to use. Close Halion Sonic SE. Now, we have a sound module loaded up with drum sounds. Next, we need some MIDI data to trigger those sounds. Create an empty MIDI part with the pencil tool, then double click it. We're now inside the key editor. Each key represents a different drum sound. You can use the pencil tool to create the beat by placing notes everywhere you want a drum beat. Repeat this process until you've created a groove that you're happy with. Here's how our drum part sounds so far. We can copy and paste this to build it out into a drum track. or use the duplicate command. There are lots of ways to create MIDI drum parts. This is just the most basic. I never saw it coming. Okay, let's add a pad part. Open the project menu and select Add Track, then Instrument Track. Pick the Halion Sonic SE device and click Add Track. 
Use the Edit Instrument icon to open up Halion Sonic SE. And now we can select a preset. Let's rename this track Pads. Select the pad track, arm the Record Enable button. Now let's record some synth pads. There were a few dropped notes, but that's okay. MIDI is very easy to edit. Double click on the MIDI performance in the project window to open the editor. You'll see a matrix with MIDI notes. The pitch of a note is represented by its vertical position. And duration is represented by how long the line is. Its velocity or volume is shown both by the color and with this graph at the bottom of the window. There's a piano keyboard shown vertically along the left margin to help you stay oriented. You can use the key editor toolbar to edit the performance. You can also move notes to try new arrangements. You can delete unwanted notes. You can add notes to build out a part manually. And you can even edit notes by changing their length or their velocity. This is only a very small example of Cubase's editing power, but it'll do for now. And if you want to hear this part with a different sound, you can change the preset on Halion SE at any time. Now let's move on, take a look at EQ, effects, and the basic mix-down procedure.